correct so i need to use some transistor so i draw a transistor when we when i draw a transistor i need to decide pnp or npn 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 suppose if i go for npn i'll draw it here npn then i will draw it this way this is npn transistor correct now when we use npn transistor the out and vcc is connected here then it will be transferred to the emitter if the input is high correct then it will work as a emitter follower emitter follower this is one approach second approach is to use pnp transistor so you connect vcc here and it will be transferred to the collector when this is low everybody understanding this so if you want active low signal or active high signal um, depending on that you need to use the npn transistor or pnp transistor we will go for active low signal <coughs> active low signal you can go for active high signal also based on that the diagram will be slightly different why to go for active low signal we will understand when we discuss about microcontroller hmm? so what i do is i'll choose pnp transistor and then the base will be the controlling line and where is this base connected port pin of a processor right now what is the level on port pin maximum level and minimum level what is that tta level maximum 5 volt and this vcc also 5 volt we assume that this vcc is also 5 volt and what is the minimum level of a port line zero approximately zero it may not be exactly 0.00 but it will be near about zero we can take it as a zero now can this base emitter junction take if this this is 5 volt and if the base goes to zero volt what is the voltage across this diode what will be voltage if the base is directly connected to ground or zero 5 volt will it sustain 5 volt no it will not sustain it will not it will just burn away because the diode cannot take more than say typically point points and volts right so how can we make it work because we cannot tell the client that i did use this transistor and it burnt away so i cannot deliver the frequency meter to you right so we need to add a current limiting resistor and then we can give here zero logic 1 and logic 0 any anything when the when it is logic 0 the current will be flowing like this and when it, whenever it is logic 1 there will not be any current because base is at high potential emitter is also high potential and there is no possibility of any base current no base current no collector current so obviously no digit glowing because it's a common point all right so one more transistor and we will not forget to draw emitter and also we will not forget to connect a resistor and now the dark dark circled point will go to the port line not the base base directly will not go to the port line because otherwise it will burn the transistor right and so on so we can have this kind of circuit now this circuit immediately gives us an idea that the digit select signal which is this this is actually digit select signal this signal is coming from port line and this is a digit select signal and that digit select signal can you tell whether it is active high or active low active active low many of you are saying active low why because when it goes low the digit is selected because when it is low the current will flow and when the current flows the power will trans will be transferred from emitter to collector it means it will go to the digit so the digit select signal how many digit select signals are there four signals because there are four digits so four digit signals and what these signals will be called these are actually data signals segment data signals so how many signals you will require from the microcontroller four digit select signals or lines and eight segment data 
lines right so how many port lines are required 12 port lines are required so we will have to select a microcontroller which can support minimum 12 lines some more lines will be required to accept the frequency input but minimum 12 lines are mandatory how many lines you will require if we go for non multiplexed static display 32 we have we had done computation 32 lines so instead of 30 lines we get the whole job done in 12 lines only so less number of lines are required in case of multiplexed display the software becomes complicated but that is allowed software becomes complex but that is always allowed software can be complex hardware should be cheaper the instrument should be easy to use and should be functional and so on right so uh, with this uh, discussion we will conclude today's uh, session and uh, in this in the next session what we will do is we'll start discussing about the microcontroller how it is to be connected then how software should be written and uh, how a value should be shown and then we'll discuss about how that that value should be a frequency value that is the next issue first some value should be shown and then frequency value should be shown so we'll do that next time